My name is Hong Chi Xiao, originally from China. Now I live in the United States. And pedalaging is not what I learned in the school. I learned finance in the college and then got my MBA in the United States. And after that, I went to work in Wall Street and Hong Kong for many, many years. At the age of 40, I quit from my job and started my journey in search of natural healing. I learned many, many things. To cut it short, I learned acupressure first. That is, use your fingers, nothing else. So at the beginning, I treated all kinds of people, you know, who got a stroke, paralyzed. Excellent healing. After treating for about a week, they can walk. Then I began to learn acupuncture, which is also great. I learned from a master for one month. One month later, I already treated 1,600 people in Tibet. It's also, it's great healing effect. But then you realize more and more people came to you for help. You treated 1,000, 10,000 appeared. So they rely on you. They don't change their way of life, way of thinking. And that all these diseases will come back, even if they get healed. So I thought there must, there must be something better and simpler so that everyone can do. They can manage their own health. So I closed on my studio and started a journey again in search of something better, simpler. And then I found out, or I, I, I should say, I discovered from different masters two good things. One is Pai Da. Pai Da means slapping. The other is La Jin. La Jin means stretching. You just lie on a bench like this, put one leg up. Very simple. Because for acupuncture, acupressure, that sort of thing, it's medical treatment. But for Paida and Lajin, it's not a medical therapy. Anyone can do it. And it's so simple. You can learn it in just one minute, see? <laughs> so I learned this. I got back and treated my patients with Paida Lajin, but still together with acupuncture, acupressure. Great healing effect, especially for the pain problems like lower back pain, knee pain, leg pain, thigh pain, and the frozen shoulders. But then people will say, okay, probably it's still because of the healing effect from, from the acupuncture. So I said, okay, now we stop all acupuncture, all acupressure, pyda lodging only. What happened? The healing effect is even, even better. So, I set up very clear criteria for picking up the so-called healing or self-healing. When I say self-healing, that means you do it by yourself. You don't have to rely on a healer or a doctor. So, these are the criteria. First, it has great healing effect because this is the number one thing. If it doesn't work, why, why, why do people learn and do it? Number two, simple. How simple? You can learn it in one minute, no matter young and old, women and men. Number three, there's no side effect. It's all organic. Number four, it deals with virtually all kinds of diseases. I think this is quite enough. Of course, number five, you know, it's low cost, or even no cost. So, from that time on, I quit all other so-called therapies, or even natural therapies, I quit. I just started promoting this Paidalajin self-healing technique all over the world, because it works so well. According to the Chinese, traditional Chinese medicine, there are altogether 12 major meridians from head to toe. It's like a network. Meridians are the channels where the energy moves. Okay, so 
when we have a disease, that means the meridians are blocked. So in spite of all the names of the disease we are given, you, you may conclude exactly one disease, that is blockage of meridians. No matter it's a headache, or diabetes, or cancer, or even the mosquito bite, or depression, all the reasons for the disease is the same, blockage of meridian. Even the English word disease means dis-ease, that means you are not at ease. That means energy flow is not free, it's blocked somehow to a degree. So this is why pytologin works, because pytologin unblocking the blockages like acupuncture, acupressure, all the other therapies, even medicine. They serve the same function, that is unblocking the blockages. But the other therapies are so-called medical therapies, while Paida Lajin is not a medical therapy. Anybody, anybody can do it. It's like yoga or Tai Chi or sporting exercise. It's simple. In the past, uh, six, I would say six years, I've been traveling all over the world to different countries from Asia, North America, Europe, Australia, and here, Africa. Everywhere I've been, it's always a great success. What do I mean? What do I mean by success? Number one, it has great healing effect. Again, I would say the healing effect, people can feel that. You can also check it out. And Last year, we even had a joint clinical workshop with the Medical Institute in India. It's a medical, it's a diabetes research center. So it's all done in a professional way. All the doctors and nurses, they set up a work, workshop with me. And all the people who participated are all diabetic. So then the report was out. Also, it's great healing effect. It, it works on number one. I mean, it has healing effect number one on diabetic one, diabetic two, and also on all the heart diseases, all kinds of, also high blood pressure. With only two people who got Parkinson's diseases. And that kind of healing effect is even greater. At the same time, I have to emphasize when this happened, all these participants they had to either stop medication or lower the dosages. And every day the doctors and the nurses would check it many times per day to supervise everything. For the pain problems, it's easy. You've got painkillers, now you've got a pain here, here, there. Then you can just do pytologin. Maybe in a few minutes or 10 or 20 minutes, the pain is gone. So you don't have to take the painkillers. But for the chronic diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, it takes longer time. So we don't see, normally, we don't say anything on medicine because we're not doctors. We're not in a position to ask you to stop or to reduce. No, we don't say anything. We just say, okay, here is what we do. There are people, you know, you can see their testimonials. Those people are the ones who already done the pathology and they stopped gradually. Maybe half, then another half, man, one third, depends. But of course, they have to do pytologin. Otherwise, it won't work. See, I have to be very cautious here. We never ask anybody or suggest anybody that you should stop medication, no. They do this at their own discretion. They decide by themselves. If they still think they should do, they should take medication, fine, yeah. Normally, we are educated in such a way, when we get sick, we go to see doctors, right? But now, we've discovered that self-healing is something everyone is born with. This is from the Creator. Everyone is born with a self-healing system, right? But for a long time, we desert it, we waste it, we don't use it. But now, after I learned Pai and I do it myself and teach people how to do it, it works. So it's true. After doing pathology, more and more people stay away from the hospitals. They stop medication. It happens naturally. Of course, 
If they still think medicine is good for them, they, they can still take it. They think the hospitals are good, they can still go to hospitals. I'm not in a position to ask them not to go to the hospital and not to take medicine. I just said this is a, this is a way of life because what we're doing is not a medical treatment. It has nothing to do with medicine in a hospital. If you can heal your problems or diseases, you can do it. If you don't believe it, you can still go to hospitals. In our workshop, it's like a normal retreat, very simple. People just come here, we get up in the morning, we do a little bit jogging, then meditation, then we begin the classes. After that, it's Pai Da La Jin, that is slapping and stretching. Every three people form a group and they do on themselves, sometimes at the back or some other places, they do on each other in turn. That's it. Nothing more than that. Period. If it is too painful, you can do it more gently. But some people after practicing for a while, they want more then. So it, you know, they cooperate with each other. Very simple. Just that. The healing effect by doing Padalajin is hundreds of times better than the mainstream healing. People think, okay, you're cheating, you're lying. I say, okay, I'm open for criticism. I'm open for you to go and check with all the medical equipment. So sometimes people say, okay, it's illegal for you to claim the medical result. I say, okay, I'm not a doctor. These patients are not doctors either. What we're doing is merely a physical exercise, like sporting exercise, even simpler than the more normal yoga and the Tai Chi exercise, but it works. It works so well that people love it. You try it, you can check it out. There is very clear cut. Those who participated in the workshop, they strongly support this, including doctors and non-doctors. But those who criticize me, they are the ones who never attended the workshop. They have never done any Pai Da La Jin. They know nothing about this. They just use their old knowledge to judge this. This is my third trip to South Africa. Africa is on the prep, top of my priority list. Why? Because compared with Asia, Europe, America, any other countries, this is probably the land where we would say less developed. People here don't have that much medical facilities or medical insurance. So this is an ideal place or land for doing this kind of natural self-healing. And the result is very clear. Even for Soweto, Soweto, right? Every time I come here, I've been to Soweto. I don't know, four or five times. We've got some medium seminars and also some parties we call Pai Da La Jin Party. The healing effect is excellent. For example, one lady who could not walk properly with a walking stick and the belt, she could hardly stand up from the chair. The other day, okay, we just helped her to lie on the bench, maybe 10, 15 minutes, then slap on her knee for another 10 or 15 minutes, altogether maybe half an hour. She began to walk and even dance. It's, it's great. And we have more and more examples like this in Africa. This is so simple. Every, everyone can do it and you can do it for free. No medicine, no surgery. What say the most wanted or if you ever call an equipment is a bench like this, that's all. And this kind of bench, you can make it by yourself. Wooden bench, metal bench, or even use the chairs to stand, to, to replace it. So with this, you can save a lot of money, a lot of suffering.